it is a real pleasure to be present with all of you here today for a momentous occasion, namely the launching ceremony of the prestigious indigenous aircraft carrier. I had visited Cochin shipyard on February 28, 2009 for the key laying of the aircraft carrier. Today the project has reached a memorable milestone. But I am all the more happy. I am not visiting this shipyard, not as the Minister of Defence only. I don't know how many of you are here in 72. In the year of 1972, when our uh, former Prime Minister Indiraji laid the foundation stone for this historic shipyard, I was able to attend that function also. Karnagaji was the chief minister, I was the Kerala party present at that time. That is in 72. Now it is after 41 years, the CPR has reached India's number one CPR. I am very proud of that. The launching of the aircraft carrier marks a red red day, not just for the Navy and our shipping industry, but also for the entire nation. It is indeed a proud moment for the country to witness our efforts at achieving surveillance in the field of warship design and construction as only a very few advanced countries in the world possess the capability to design and build aircraft carriers. Today's launching of the indigenous aircraft carrier marks just the first step in a long journey but at the same time an important one. The need for a strong and vigilant Navy to defend our ma mainland, island territories, offshore assets, exclusive economic zone around our vast coastline and maintaining sea lines of communication needs no emphasis. We must continue the process of strengthening indigenous capability towards securing our maritime interest. Our Navy must continue to maintain high operational readiness at all times to ward off any likely misadventure against our national interest. The country's warship building program must meet the Navy's force level requirements. Over the years, the Navy has made a distinct shift from a biased Navy to a builder's Navy. I strongly urge the Indian industry to participate wholeheartedly in our shipbuilding programs and further consolidate our strength in this field. Cochin Shipyard Limited is one of the major shipbuilding yards in India. It has good facilities, infrastructure and a skilled workforce for shipbuilding and ship repair. Though building the aircraft carrier is in is Cochin Shipyard's limited maiden venture in warship construction, the shipyard has rendered human service in the commercial shipbuilding sector. I have been told that presently the yard has orders for 20 ships consisting of platforms, support vessels for international clients, fast patrol vessels for the Indian Coast Guard besides this first indigenous aircraft carrier for our Navy. Still I am told by shipyard and also from the unions that you need more support. We can, let us have an agreement. We lost many time in the past because of various reasons. Hereafter let us keep the timeline. That is your commitment. I commit. If things are all right, we will support you more and more from the Ministry of Defence. The Yard has made a significant contribution to the National Exchequer and was awarded the Category 1 Minidakma status by the government in July 2008. It takes several years to develop design capability and technical expertise to conceptualize, design and produce warship particularly an aircraft carrier. The required skills can be realized only by hands-on experience in warship design 
and production skills. It is equally essential that we retain and sharpen established designing capabilities, shipbuilding technology, know-how and human resources to be able to produce quality and state-of-the-art warships in the years to come. We have the capability and technology to match the best in the world. On its part, the government will extend all its support in sustaining and supporting warship design and building. The achievement by Cochin Shipyard Limited reflects the new era of industrial growth in Kerala. The Minister of Defence has already initiated a number of high-value technology intensive defence sector projects such as BrahMos, besides the setting up of Asia's largest naval academy at Ejimala and National Institute of Research and Development in Defence Building, Nirdesh at Calicut. I congratulate the CMD of Cochin Shipyards and his staff, the Design Directorate and Warship Overseeing Team of the Navy and all the workers of the Cochin Shipyard and all the trade unions of the Cochin Shipyard for their contribution in launching the first indigenous aircraft carrier. I also congratulate the leaders of industry and DRDO for indigenously developing the warship, grade steel and military grade equipment of unprecedented size and complexity to meet stringent specifications. I also especially thanks the Ministry of Shipping for taking special interest in sorting out all the issues and also now moving forward this project. Finally, I have no words to thank my young colleague, C. G. K. Vasan. We lost many years because of lack of coordination from various stakeholders. It was an exaggeration I can tell you that after Mr. Vasan became the, became the Minister of Shipping, he took personal interest to sort out all the issues and he is monitoring the developments here frequently. So his personal interest and leadership has helped us very much to make this today's function like this. So my special thanks to him also. I strongly urge all the stakeholders to put in collective efforts to ensure that the indigenous aircraft carrier is delivered to the nation on time. With these words, I wish the project and Cochin Shipyard Limited all success in its endeavor. Thank you. Jai Hind.